guys, welcome to Delightfully Diffused. I'm Paula. Today I am diffusing lemon, lavender, and peppermint, better known as LLP. But today we're gonna take a quick look at peppermint and peppermint vitality. The, just a quick little fun fact, the only difference between peppermint and peppermint vitality is this label. The FDA, in order for us to say it can be used internally, the FDA said we needed a different label. So here you go. If you see a white label with vitality on it, that means you can use it internally. You can put it in your water, your tea, etc. Okay, so let's dive in. As you might be finding out, essential oils, most of them have multiple uses. They support many different things. And peppermint, no different. So some of the different systems that peppermint supports are the digestive system. It's really great for the digestive system. It supports the nervous system, the respiratory system, the circulatory system. It also supports bones and muscles, emotional balance, um, energy, focus, and even the appetite. And topically, it can be very cooling on the skin. Speaking of the skin, here's another fun fact caution. It is known as a hot oil, which means when you put it on your skin, it may have a warming slash cooling effect. And if it becomes too much for you, this is when having a carrier oil comes extremely handy. Um, never put water on top of an irritation. Always use carrier oil. If you put water on it, it's just gonna make it burn even more. So aromatically, peppermint can be purifying and it's very stimulating to the conscious mind as well as aiding in respiratory system. Topically, um, best practice, dilute this oil if you're putting it on topically. Now I say that and I have been known to, in the summertime, just put a little on my finger and rub it on the back of my neck and it cools me off pretty quickly. Um, Topically, it's also very soothing to the muscles, and it also aids, aids in the digestion and respiratory systems. So, um, you know, just rubbing it on the belly or maybe even on the chest a little bit will help open up those systems. Now, the Vitality Peppermint. This you can put in your water or your tea, and it will give it a, refresh, a refreshing flavor. I find one drop might be a little too much sometimes, so I tend to dip a toothpick in it and then dip the toothpick in my, my drink, but it tastes so good. Um, you can also add it to a gel cap with other oils and then add a carrier oil, and that's great for systemic support and the um, immune system. So let's get into the fun stuff, the little quick science tidbits I give you. So it's approximately made up of 55% phenolic alcohols. I think I said, said that correctly. 52% of which are menthol. And menthol is that cooling feeling that you get. Um, it's classified as a personifier. And if you are pregnant, you wanna use this one with caution. You also, it's not suggested for babies and it's also not suggested suggested while breastfeeding. And the breastfeeding part I know is because it's been um, linked to drying up the breast milk. <laughs> um, so definitely you also want to use with caution if you uh, have hypertension. And uh, like I said, make sure you dilute it. Peppermint does blend well with other oils and it has a frequency of 78, which is in the physical range. So those are just quick little tidbits of peppermint oil. In short, very it supports multi, multiple systems, as most oils do. You will find that the more you learn about oils, the more you will learn they support multiple systems. Again, it's a hot oil. You wanna dilute it whenever possible. And if it does become too hot or too spicy, you do carry oil, not water. Um, and then, you know, adding a few, this one I like to do a lot in the summertime, add a few drops to water in a spray bottle, a glass spray bottle, and just kind of mist and it 
cools you down pretty quickly. So that's it, that's my quick look into peppermint and peppermint vitality. I hope you uh, found this a little interesting. If you did, make sure to give the video a like, it would be much appreciated. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to post them below. I love seeing what you guys have to say. And like I said, this is a learning process for both of us, so I might learn something from you. Uh, if you wanna stay up to date with the YouTube videos, make sure to click the subscribe button and you will get notifications whenever a new video comes out. Don't forget, you can also follow me on uh, social media. I'm on Facebook at um, facebook.com slash groups slash delightfully diffused. And then I'm on Instagram at delightfully underscore diffused. So that's it guys, that's my quick look at peppermint. Until next time, keep diffusing and I'll see you later.